Welcome back to my little channel. Today I'm going to address a lie, or as you wish, a narrative that has been spun to tell us why our current society is having such an issue when it comes to junk food. What narrative is that, you ask? Well, the narrative that eating at McDonald's is cheaper than eating healthy. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I've heard it too, and at a point in time, I actually believed it, because I, at that time, did not realize how much we are being played. Mainstream media is lying to us, politicians are lying to us. I know this makes me sound like a conspiracy nut, but unfortunately, it is true. Is junk food indeed cheaper than healthy food? Well, that's easy to fix, check, or whatever you want to call it. Let's take a simple meal at McDonald's. Why are we taking a meal? Because a simple bread is not enough. So we want something more. Now, I'm going to talk about dinner, not breakfast and lunch, though I could talk about those as well. I know that you can get a full meal in America for, I think it was a Big Mac menu, for about $5.99, let's say $6. In the Netherlands, it would be a little bit more expensive in Euro. I have no idea what the prices would be in the UK, but in all fairness, check things out, look things up. Don't take me on my word. Don't believe me on my word. And once you check things out, do the calculus. Okay, so we're going to talk in dollars. $5.99 for a meal. With that meal, you get fries, a medium fries, a medium drink, a burger, and a lot of air, because that's basically it. Now, is it possible to eat healthy for less? And I checked on prices in California because I've been told California is so very expensive. Now, I didn't go to California. I didn't go to the shops there. I had to find all the information I did online. So I checked the prices online of Aldi. Apparently, Aldi has a supermarket in California too. I didn't know that. I thought they were basically just in Europe. But apparently, they are in America too. This is what I found. Now, it's not easy to find all the prices. I would have liked it if there was a big list like I can find from the Netherlands or from the UK, but I can't find that in the UK. What I can find are special offers, funny enough. So let's look at this one. Here I can see a broccoli, which is pretty healthy, let's be honest, for 119. And on the opposite page, I can find a pound of chicken thighs for 80 cents. So that means I've got my vegetables and I've got my meat and I'm still under $2. So let's continue, shall we? On the same, what is it called, folder, I can also find a bottle of Simply Nature Organic Lemonade for $2.29. Now that's quite pricey, but it's a large 64 ounces bottle so I assume you can get more than one helping out of that. So I'm going to take that for 229, which gives me a grand total of a little more than four dollars. And I still need something to fill the rest of the meal because I've got vegetables and I've got meat and I've got drink. Now, I think I want potatoes. Do you think it would be possible to get one serving of raw potatoes for less than two dollars? I think, I think I will be able to do so. Now, the thing is, I buy a pound of chicken and a broccoli. That's not normally what you would eat in one meal. You could eat two meals with that. And I'm already cheaper than I would be when going to McDonald's. Yeah, but it's not healthy food. Yeah, you see, the thing is, broccoli is pretty healthy. And I'm not sure about the organic, or oh, sorry, organic lemonade. Fair enough. 
but I can't find a price of a good bottle of milk. I've tried, I'm sorry, I failed. As I said, I still have two dollars left to find potatoes. I'm pretty sure I'd be able to get it, even though I cannot find it online. It's kind of funny that there's so many ways to find prices of groceries in Europe, and it's so very difficult to do the very same thing in America. Either that, or I'm really bad at Google Foo. As it is though, can you eat cheaper than McDonald's at home with groceries? And can you eat healthy at home with groceries? I think the answer to that is yes, you can. So where does this narrative come from that it's impossible to do so? Now, one of the stories I can find about how junk food is cheaper than healthy food is on a New York Times blog. There are New York Times articles, obviously. I couldn't find them really fast and I'm a lazy ass today. The well, a high price for healthy food, has been produced in December 2007. A link will be provided downstairs, obviously. And they basically say this. Healthy eating really does cost more. That's what the University of Washington researchers found when they compared the prices of 370 foods sold at supermarkets in the Seattle area. Calorie for calorie, junk foods not only cost less than fruits and vegetables, but junk food's prices also are less likely to rise as a result of inflation. The findings reported in the current issue of the Journal of the American Dietetic Association may help explain why the highest rates of obesity are seen amongst people in lower income groups. The scientists took an unusual approach, essentially comparing the prices of a calorie in junk food to one consumed in healthier meals. Although fruits and vegetables are rich in nutrients, they also contain relatively few calories. Foods with high energy density, meaning they pack the most calorie per gram, include candy, pastries and baked goods and snacks. And this is where the double standard comes in. And they are actually creating this double standard. Yes, there are less calories in fru fruits, some fruits, not all, and vegetables. We know this. There are more nutrients in fruit and vegetables. That's why we have a term uh, as simple as empty calories, which sugar basically is. But it's easier to pretend that there is a different issue. It's easier to pretend it's a financial issue rather than an educational one, or not so much educational as, well, raising your populace. I mean, if people think that they can eat healthy by eating pizzas, then of course they're going to eat pizzas because they think it's healthy. We need to educate people into what is and what is not healthy. What are good calories, what are bad calories, because not all calories are good and not all calories are bad. But yeah, if you're going to have a one-sided food intake menu, then that's going to harm you over the long run. But the same is true if you eat... Well, no, actually, that's not. I wanted to say if you eat a lot of vegetables, that's not good for you either. But that's unfortunately not true because there are lots of different vegetables. But if your whole meal contains of one vegetable and the rest of the year you will only eat that one vegetable, yeah, that's not good for you either. It's the diversity of intake that makes a meal healthy. Does that mean you shouldn't take in any sugar at all? No, but you should You should take it in in moderation. Should you drink two liters of cola a day? Hell no. You're better off drinking two liters of water. And funny enough, where we can find lots and lots and lots of sources who talk that junk food is cheaper, there are only a few sources out there that will actually try to combat this narrative. Funny enough, this article is also from the New York Times. It's one, there are more. Look for it yourself. Anyway, this is written in 2011, September 2011. Is junk food really cheaper? The fact, in parenthesis, 
that junk food is cheaper than real food has become a reflexive part of how we explain why so many Americans are overweight, particularly those with lower incomes. I frequently read confident statements like, when a bag of chips is cheaper than a head of broccoli, or it's more affordable to feed a family of four at McDonald's than to cook a healthy meal for them at home. Which, by the way, I just debunked. Easily debunked. This is just plain wrong. In fact, it isn't cheaper to eat highly processed foods. A typical order for a family of four, for example, two Big Macs, cheeseburger, six chicken nuggets, two medium and two small fries, and two medium and two small sodas, costs at McDonald's, a hundred stop from where I write, about $28. Judicious ordering of Happy Meals can reduce that price to about $23, and you get a few apple slices in addition to the fries. In general, despite extensive government subsidies, hyperprocessed foods remains more expensive than food cooked at home. You can serve a roasted chicken with vegetables along with a simple salad and milk for about $14 and feed four or even six people. If there is too much money, substitute a meal of rice and canned beans with bacon, green peppers and onions. It's easily enough for four people at a cost of about $9. Omitting the bacon, using dried beans which are also lower in sodium, or substituting carrots for the peppers, reducing the price even further. I'm not going to do the rest of the article. I just read these three things. Links to the articles are downstairs. So what is causing the narrative that we cannot buy healthy food? No, there is one step worse. What is causing us to believe the narrative that we can't buy healthy food because if we push the idea that we cannot do something you are creating a self-fulfilling prophecy so poor people whether they want to eat healthy or not are being told that even if they would want to they cannot eat healthy now that's quite a hill to box up on so if you are at the bottom of that hill and people tell you well yeah you're, you're going to fail either way why the hell keep trying? Why is whomever is doing this demoralizing most of the country? To me, that's an interesting question. One that I do not have an interesting answer for. Well, I have my theories, obviously, but nothing I can prove. But it is quite clear to see that we are being lied to by the mainstream media and we are being demoralized to buy into the narrative. I'm not quite sure who profits from this. But I can tell you this. It's not us. Anyway, like, share and subscribe. If you agree, criticism, as always, is more than welcome. And I hope to see you all next time.